What is up boys and girls, ladies and gents, Tusters and Tusters, it is your boy Awakened Tuster, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pack a punch and double pack a punch within the new DLC Rave in the Redwoods. The first thing that you're going to want to do is turn on the power. The path that I usually take is I go from spawn into the adventure cores, through adventure cores to recreation camp, drop down from where the rock climb is, and you'll find yourself at the recreation camp. This is just gameplay showing the path of where to go, but when you're actually playing within the game, you're going to have to buy the doors that lead to this area. Once you have reached this spot, you're going to want to walk straight into the mines. Once you have reached the mines, you want to go down the stairs, go past the mine cart, and you'll walk down this little cave area that will lead directly to the power. Once you walk into the room, the power will be right directly in front of you. Then all you have to do is just turn it on. Now that the power is turned on, you're going to want to walk upstairs in the spawn house and you'll go and walk to the area where Tough Enough is, or also known as the Juggernaut. Basically, you'll see these beds, and there's gonna be a little torpedo looking piece that you pick up. The next place you will wanna find yourself is the Mess Hall. This is gonna be where your second piece that lies for your boat. It's actually gonna be lying right next to a trash can with like chips on top of it. That's the best way I can describe it. It's gonna be next to this pillar with a trash can that has chips on it, and it'll be sitting right on the floor. I actually go and punch it with my golf club after I noticed that I picked it up already. So basically you guys will see it right here on screen. The last and final piece that you are going to need for your boat is going to be in the recreation area. All of these pieces do not need a specific order of being picked up. I just decided to put this order in a random fashion for the video, but you can honestly pick any of these pieces in any order. But there's the one piece that's in the upstairs area of the spawn room that you have to have the power on before you can actually grab it. So usually that's like the last piece that people get to, but it really does not matter what pieces you grab first and which ones you grab last. You then want to make yourself to the lake area, or also known as the docks, that's what I like to call it but it is known as the lake area. There's gonna be a film reel sitting on the ground here on the docks. You can grab that on your way to the boat so then you don't have to worry about grabbing this piece later on. You can then proceed to get in the boat. This boat will take you to the island and you're gonna to wanna to go and find the second reel to the projector. This reel will be lying right next to a picnic table outside the building, which is on that same island. Now that you have both of the reels to the projector, you can actually put those both on the projector. It will open up the portal to pack a punch and you can enter that and go pack a punch for your first time. After you pack a punch the first time, you may be asking, how do I pack a punch twice? Well, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. In reality, it's actually not that tricky. All you have to do is just get kills with your pack punch weapon. I'm not for sure if it's headshots or just regular kills yet. I'm pretty sure it's just kills with a pack punch weapon. But you basically kill zombies until you hear this noise. This sound is actually very similar to the sound of a gym drop from one of the zombies that you pick up. This sound may be very slight due to the fact that there's so much gun sounds going on. But once you actually hear this noise, this will enable you to go to spawn and grab this little light that's going to be sitting on the counter. After you have completed all those tasks, all you have to do is go back to the island where the projector room is, install the light into the pack-a-punch, and then that allows you to have a double pack-a-punch for your weapons. This double pack-a-punch does not require the zombies in space on easter egg to be complete. All you have to do is just complete these steps and you'll be absolutely set to do the double pack-a-punch. If you guys did find this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and share this video around so you guys can help each other out with this tutorial. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Other than that, as always, keep it toasted, my friends.